Obviously, battles will talk. <laughs> Yo, Conquer B, uh, at Conquer Boss on Twitter. Yeah, you're all right, man. How's it going? Welcome on, bro. Welcome on. Awesome. Um, if Cheers. you can, like I do with most people that first come on the show, if you can just let people know how you go into battling and everything else, man. Uh, yeah, well, um, I, when I was little, I never really listened to rap or anything. It was all like heavy, well, it had rap influences, but all like Linkin Park, Link Biscuit, fucking Papa Roach, all that new metal type shit. And I sort of, I enjoyed the lyricism of it, but I never really delved into hip hop and that until I was a teenager and I started listening to Wiley, Dizzy Rascal, that old like fucking Kano, all that shit. And uh, I went to college in Kingston and everyone spat bars there. I thought, well, I, I'll try it out, started writing or whatever. I got decent. They showed me Don't Flop. That's how I got into battling as well. They showed me Don't Flop. I think uh, O'Shea versus Flex Digits was the first battle I ever saw. And obviously saw Lunacy, Blizzard, all the standard kind of first battle people watch. And I just started writing did a few shows, started like, uh, making the old beat or whatever, just, just rapping over other people's beats. And I thought, uh, yeah, yeah, earlier this year I'd give it a go and it's gone well so far. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, your latest battle is to be released Monday, is it? Yeah, man. Yeah, Monday, me versus Crescendo. It was at uh, sixth birthday. It was... Um, yeah, it was good, man. I really enjoyed it. I thought, um, so obviously my, fir my first two battles, I got a really good response from. I really enjoyed it. And then my third one with um, Smart Alex, I thought went a bit shit, really. <laughs> but like, it went all right. I still won, but it wasn't as good as my first two. But I think this one, I'm back on track sort of thing. I think it's going to go well, uh, like go down well online sort right. of thing. Okay, so you're back, you're back in the ring yourself tomorrow as it is. Yeah, man. Um, it must probably be today by the time this is released, though. Today. <laughs> um, yeah. Which there's been a venue change for it, so anyone that's watching hopefully gets to, that's going to the event and get this message. Yeah, man. It's at uh, two eight nine, yeah, two eight nine Kilburn High Street. Um, uh, the good ship is called. I've never been there, but. Look it up, the good ship on Kilburn Hyde Street. Should be able to find it. It'll be good, man. It'll be a good day. Everyone's going to be let's chilling. Go, back. Let's go in the card, man. Let's go in on the card. Um, let's do it. DL versus JTC. I don't know a hell of a lot about either of them. I know I've seen the real talks with the other people on this card and they don't really know about them either. But I've seen a bit. DL actually tried out for Don't Flop the same day I did uh, against Blitz. But the battle didn't get uploaded for whatever reason. But I remember it being good because there was only three battles that got uploaded from that event. And I thought one of the ones that got uploaded was a lot worse than Dio's one. So he's he's good, man. He's good. And JTC, he's battled on various smaller leagues. He's good as well. I reckon, I reckon JTC's probably got it. But it'll be close. It'll be a good chance for them to kind of get their name out to the other battlers, get networking sort of thing. It'll be good for them. That's going to be a good clash. JB, JB versus Deafening. Deafening, I've never seen. I've seen, um, I've seen J, yeah, JB's uh, Don't Flop tryout. And he was good. Like His bars were good. He just he was <laughs> moving all weird. Like I, I can't really talk, obviously. Like, But, yeah, I don't know. If he gets his stage presence down, like it'll be good because his, his pen game's sick. But I can't talk for definite I don't know so I'm going to say JB he's the only one I know and he's he's good yeah. Bombshell versus Bard <laughs> this I'm probably looking forward to this one the most to be honest I think I've only ever seen um, Bombshell versus Big J and uh, she is in a battling sense kind of a female Bard they, <laughs> they both kind of battle the same way as each other it's going to be the most like, theatrical West End battle, I think, but I reckon, I don't know, man, I haven't seen enough of Bombshell, but I really rate Bard highly, I reckon, I reckon Bard's got that, man, and obviously, it's just how it goes, and it, women are 
easier to battle against, and that's not a sexist comment, that's just how it is. I reckon Bod's got that. Bowski versus Frequent Thought. Bowski all day, man. Bowski, like, Frequent Thought, <laughs> I assume his bars are good. I don't get them. He, sa he says them as if they're good, and I assume whatever he's referencing, if I understood what he was referencing, I'd think it was fucking awesome, but <laughs> it's almost like he goes out of his way to reference the most obscure shit that like two people are going to get in the comments be like yes oh, that was sick but I don't get it he, so he sounds like he's good to the people that do get him but Bowski is just too much man he's too funny he's going to clown on him it's just going to be short and gay jokes but he's going to win <laughs> so I've seen I've seen some of the the Twitter talk between you and some <laughs> yeah some more hype man. um He's just a fucking cunt, basically. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was started. Um, Hulk just hit me up saying he, like, I should battle Soul Jitsu. I reckon it would be a good clash. Obviously, I, he's the biggest battler I will have been against, sort of thing. I've just been going up against the other new guys that tried out the same time as me and don't flop. But he's good, and you've got to have a bit of shit talk, man. And you just yeah, we just started calling each other cunts, basically. I do. I, to be honest, I like the guy. <laughs> I've met him a few times. He's he's a nice fella, but up until I battle him tomorrow, up until I beat him tomorrow, he's fucking he's fucking cunt, mate. I might even beat him up. All right. <laughs> Big J versus Max Sherry. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. This is what I'm looking forward to the most, man. Like, I'm I'm hoping. I kind of hope. Max Sherry wins, but only because I'm so sure he won't. He's like, <laughs> I think I don't want to sound harsh because obviously he's he seems like a really nice guy, and I know he loves battle and he really wants to be a part of it. But I think even if he gets all his lyrics out, I think Big J's still going to beat him. I've heard some of Big J's stuff, not all of it, but it's sick. And Big J's like, Big J's had a fucking awesome year last year. He's on his shit right now. I think even if Max Sherry gets all his lyrics out, his lyrics aren't going to be as good as Big J's. It's as simple as that. Big J's going to body him. Alright, main event EMC versus Cracker. I, don't, I haven't seen enough of EMC. Like, I, It seems like an odd matchup to me. I, I don't know if that's because I need to watch more of EMC, but Cracker, Cracker's pen game is almost untouchable. I think he's a really, really underrated battler. He should have got obviously he was two on two champ and stuff like that, but I think and no disrespect to EMC at all. What I've seen is really good, but I think Cracker should be getting bigger names than that. Cracker should be getting like internationals and shit like good for EMC and it's a good chance for him to showcase his stuff. Like especially I think he took the Pedro stuff. Well, I don't think I don't think Cracker's going to do anything like that, so it'll be a, a better battle for EMC in that respect. But I I reckon Cracker's got that easy. But EMC could prove me wrong. Who knows? All right, then, bro. What can we What can we expect from Conquer B, Conquer Buzz? <laughs> your, your very self in the future, bro. What 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 are you planning this year? Like, um. Is there, is there a new year battle resolution that you got going down? Or? Yeah, well, I got I got a few people that I want to kind of work my way up to. I got I was meant to be battling Sean O'Mac at the end of last year, but he didn't turn up for whatever reason. I don't know if that's going to be going. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's going to be going down in the future at all or not. But I want to. I think on my agenda this year, ideally, I want. Uh, Juan, and then I want to team up with Juan as well against some people. I want to, I want to do me and Juan versus Tox and Flawless in Don't Flop. I think that would be funny as fuck. Um, and Cystic, I reckon, would be a good kind of like step up from the new lot to the kind of mid tier or whatever. I want Cystic, and by the end of the year, I want. I think Enigma is my top kind of the high, the highest tier battler that I think. I could potentially be battling by the end of the year. I want to be clashing in it, but... Alright, that's cool. That's some real talk right there, bro. That's, that's set, 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 <laughs> set it out, man. Yeah, man. Um, I've been uh, having a ponder. Um, 
but that's that's literally real talk, bro. Um, yeah, have, man. Have you got any shout outs? Um, I don't know. Shout out Mickey Worthless and Hulk, obviously, for having me on uh, King of the Ronalds card, which will probably have already happened before a lot of people see this. But um, yeah, just I don't know. Shout out Bard, everyone on the forum, Marcus, Corny, BC, Mister and Glorious. That's it. <laughs> This has been real talk. Make sure to check right. out all the links. All our social yeah, medias. Are all, we've got all the social medias forward slash, obviously, battles. Um, all your links will be in the video underneath. Um, yeah, man. So make sure you check them all out, people. And this has been real talk. And we're out.